the ocean, a vast body of water that covers 71% of the Earth's surface, yet more than 95% of the underwater world remains unexplored. The ocean supports the life of 50% of all the species on Earth, sustaining that life by providing 20% of all the animal protein. Many creatures live in these waters. One creature is the jellyfish. Fascinating, elegant, and mysterious to watch in the water. Take a jellyfish out of the water, and it becomes a much less fascinating blob. This is because jellyfish are about 95% water, lacking a head and brain, a skeleton and blood, as well as many special organs for respiration and excretion. Jellyfish are pretty simple creatures. The jellyfish is carnivorous and hunts its prey either actively or passively, depending on the species and swimming abilities. On the underside of its body is an opening which serves as a mouth, as well as an opening to expel waste matter from the body. It is a weird fact that jellyfish expels waste from the same place as it ingests food. This mouth directly opens into a gastrovascular cavity, which serves as a stomach where the food is digested. Most jellyfish drift in the ocean, with their tentacles spread out to gather food. Some jellies, like the box jellyfish, are known to be good swimmers and will actively chase their prey. But in all types of jellyfish, the main apparatus for gathering or capturing food are the tentacles. These tentacles are armed with venom, which immobilizes their prey. The jellyfish has a number of arms around its mouth. These oral arms will bring the trapped food to the opening for ingestion. The gastrovascular cavity will directly receive this food and start digesting it with its gastrodermal lining. The nutrients of the food are then passed along to the various tissues of the body. The waste is then excreted through the same opening, which sinks to the ocean floor, where it fertilizes the ocean so that new life can grow. Jellyfish reproductive biology is not well studied. The best studied genus is Aurelia, and that information will be presented here. There are separate sexes, male and female, though these are not easily distinguished by sight. Reproduction begins when the male releases sperm through its mouth into the surrounding water. These swim to the female, where they enter her central oral cavity to reach the eggs. Once fertilized, the zygotes emerge onto the oral arms to develop for a time becoming larva which settle on the bottom of the ocean. The resulting polyp begins to bud asexually, releasing free-swimming medusa, which then go on to develop into adults. Some other cyphozoans live solely as polyps, or as medusa, and do not alternate between these two phases the way that Aurelia does and eventually death occurs.